Hey guys, it's me again, Craig the SMB. Welcome back to another video. Um, I was trying to do a review of this coach right here, made by Walters Mainline, but I was having uh, lots and lots of trouble trying to get the recording done properly. So I do apologize for that. Um, not only that, but I'm also going to do a quick review of this uh, Chessy System locomotive. Last time I checked, it does work, uh, which was about a year ago. So I'd imagine something probably went wrong with it. And I think part of the wheel, but I think, uh, yeah, I think one of the wheels has a crack in it. Um, it's not very bad. It's only, it only goes up through one part of the wheel. But anyways, let's dive into the video. Uh, I was trying to record this on the YouTube app, but I couldn't really seem to do it because it kept cutting me short for some reason. Yeah, so... Hashtag technical difficulties. Um, if you are new to the channel and you want to see more of uh, what I'm going to be doing on this channel, uh, please subscribe and tag along for the entire journey. Um, and if you like this video, click the like button. And you can also share this video with friends. This video is going to be public, obviously. And you can go like and share my posts on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram name is cm.3276. Um, so, yeah. First, we're going to have a look at this coach. Um, just got to move this stuff out of the way. Yeah, it's going to be hard for me to do a thorough review of this because I'm holding my phone. Which is what I'm using to record this video and my hand. So, yep, let's give this a try. So, this is a New York Central uh, diner coach. Um, I would take out the paperwork and stuff like that, but um, I don't want to. I may do another review on this once I become a little bit more experienced. But, anyways, this is a uh, New York Central uh, diner car. I really, really like this model. I got it for. $31.50 at the uh, hobby shop in Geneva called Lake City Hobbies. Um, I'm still learning about this whole YouTube thing, so I won't be adding uh, like uh, links in the descriptions and stuff like that until I get more experience, like I said before. But let's have a quick look at this. So it's got the uh, metallic paint scheme on it, which has been applied very, very nicely. Uh, let me do the lip test real quick. Yeah, it feels kind of cool to the touch, so I'd imagine it's probably um, made out of metal. I know for a fact that the wheels are metal because it has LED lighting inside of it. I'll be able to show you guys uh, with this running on the track behind one of my locomotives because um, I'm at the Game God 1400 task. Uh, shout out to him. But... Yeah, I would do it with this model as well, but it's missing its coupler, so I'm actually planning on stripping that one down to replace the broken couplers in it, which is right there. I can't seem to find a front one for some reason. Um, but anyways, it's got the uh, metal couplers, which is really nice. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this is... Uh, this is all molded together, but I'm, I'd imagine that for being 3150, I'd imagine that at least some of it is separately fitted detail. A lot of it looks like it's just molded into the body. Uh, yeah, I do have another New York Central Pullman in the uh, gray, in the dark gray and light gray livery with the white lining. Uh, it's probably actually one of my favorite models, to be honest. Uh, some of the paint has been scratched off of it though. Anyways, as you can see, the New York Central lettering on the coach right here has been applied very, very nicely. Um, I would get up closer, but this camera's probably not going to focus in on it. And that's probably, that's probably as close as I can get to it without it getting out of focus. But as you can see, that's been applied very, very nicely. Um, we have one small scratch on it, but that's probably just from, uh, me. So, yeah, I won't be doing a score on this, 
at all because I think it's a nice model and I think it's going to be kind of harsh if I do a score on it. But I will be doing a score on it in the future, especially with some of the models that I think could probably have done better. Uh, the windows look very, very nice. Uh, as you can see, we've got detail inside of it. We've got some seats and we've got a table. Like I said, this is a diner car. And I believe in here, this might actually resemble part of the compartment where there's like a kitchen that will connect to the kitchen car on an actual consist of this thing. Get my thumb in the way. Um, it's also got the little piece uh, that creates a little mini hallway when the coaches are connected. And as you can see, it does move around, which I think is a really nice touch. Uh, the other New York Central Pullman that I have, it's made out of rubber and not plastic, so I think the rubber gives it a more realistic feel to it. Um, as you can see, the doorway looks very, very nice. I don't see like anything wrong with the paintwork aside from that uh, crevice showing up there. After all, this is a Walters mainline model, so it's not top of the range. Walters Proto is way too expensive for me. Um, on this side, basically the same thing. Uh, this is a really, really nice model, if I do say so myself. Uh, some of you may not agree, but I'm only a beginner, and I like this, and I basically just like a lot of stuff that I think is really, really neat. Uh, we've got nice detail up here. Um, I think those are supposed to resemble... Yeah, I think those pieces right here are supposed to resemble brake handles um, on the top of the car for like the emergency brake. And I think that might be a hatch that you could open up. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about some of this stuff. But yeah, this is actually a really, really nice model. Uh, anyways, I think that's enough of looking at this one. I will be doing, I will do better in the future. Like I said before, I am a beginner. Anyways, set that down and take a look at this Chessy system model. And, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. And mind you, don't think I'm weird, but I actually have given some of my models names. I named this one uh, Chessie, as it says uh, Chessie right there for the Chessie system logo. Um, this is the Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad number 1102. It's not in the best condition. Uh, it was my uh, uncle's model, uh, actually. And my aunt uh, was actually clearing out her house, and my grandfather, uh, who was helping her out, actually stumbled upon uh, three boxes filled with model railway stuff and he gave it all to me and this was uh, what was inside it I think my favorite part of it was the Smoky Mountain Express locomotive that I got in there number 97 uh, The rods on it are broken and it's missing its pistons uh, That connect the rods So yeah, that's a shame. It does work though uh, The front looks pretty nice as you can see, it doesn't have the handrails on it. Uh, doesn't have a front coupler on it for some reason. Uh, this is made by uh, Tyco Manua. Um, it's got one set of drivers up in the front only. And then the back, it's basically just a dummy set. Um, last time I checked, I think the light does work on it. Uh, the glazing on the windows looks pretty nice. Uh, I think they actually shaded it to help hide the motor and the front set. Um, as you can see, the, some of the paintwork is a little bit scratched off. Like, for example, um, right here. Yeah, it, uh, it was actually sitting in a box for a while, so I'm not really surprised that some of the stuff that I have is broken. That's brand new. But, yeah, I'm really happy that I have this model. 
because before I was basically just stuck with um, a Flying Scotsman and a Baltimore and Ohio uh, steam locomotive switcher with uh, side tanks instead of a style tank. But then when I got all these boxes of stuff, it was like, yippee, I have new models. Some of them were broken, but a lot of them were actually still in pretty good condition. Uh, one of them I actually just put together a couple weeks ago. Um, it was a Sioux Line F unit, I think, number 2203. Uh, I found a chassis for it. I attached it to it. Uh, the front set of bogeys, however, uh, well, actually, it wasn't necessarily chassis as much as it was just the uh, wheels that I found for it. I attached those. One of them was actually backwards. So when I flipped it around, the soldering for the wires uh, that connect to the uh, engine, they actually broke. So now I have to take that to the hobby shop to get that repaired. And I also have a Union Pacific uh, F unit, I think, which is also going to the hobby shop. It doesn't really seem to start up. Um, I can't tell if any current's being drawn to it because um, I don't have, like, I basically just have your... Uh, basic old school 1980s controller I think not sure what make it is anyways back to the review uh, the paint scheme on this looks really really nice once again um, I do not know what class of locomotive this is the other video uh, where I give a review of part of my model train collection at my grandparents house which is where this was actually from uh, I did not know a whole lot of the locomotive classes so, again, please let me know uh, what class of locomotive this is in the comment section below. Um, I will actually be sharing this video to um, JLWII, SMT Mainline, and Sam's Trains on Instagram. If I can find them on Instagram. And see if they can give me some tips. 